Today's video is about one of the astrological houses that I actually get asked a lot of questions about and it's the second house which is what most people think is the money house. So of course as you can expect one of the questions that always come up here is oh you mean there's a money house in my astrology chart? Can it actually tell me how I can make more money? Okay, so this is one of the biggest um, misconceptions in astrology. Because, um, and, and before you know, I sort of get into like more examples, let, let's have a moment of practical thinking, okay? It's if the purpose is to make lots of money, there, there are lots of things that we can do in this world that can make us lots of money. And uh, logically speaking, if, if an action or a project can potentially make somebody a lot of money, does it really matter who does it? Because after all, if there is a process that it, once you press that button, whoever presses that button will make money, for example. Um, then go do it. I mean, it has nothing to do with your, your astrology chart. Uh, it doesn't really matter who you are uh, or does it? I mean, because ultimately, um, I think the focus here is not how we can make the most money. Think about it, right? If, if we are looking at the astrology chart, which helps each person to be an individual, one chart is never the same as another. So if, if the chart has a different description of money, that sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? So in fact, today, what I want to tell everybody is that the second house is actually, it doesn't describe money per se, but actually it describes value. In fact, historically, if you think about it, right, money is a fairly new invention in, in human history. A long time ago, people didn't used to have money. You know, uh, wealth used to be, well, if you had a lot of stuff, you know, if... Um, and wealth was kind of like if, if, they, if they killed a, a wild animal, <laughs> if a hunter brought a wild animal home, the question was who got to eat first and who got to eat the biggest piece. So logically speaking, it, it can't be just down to well if you're the best looking and uh, you get you get the most. No, no. In fact, the person who gets to eat the most is often the person who put in the biggest effort or who makes the biggest contribution to the team. And in fact, this is the real meaning of the second house. So I'm, I'm going to show you a few examples of very famous people and what the second house says about them. And you'll see what I mean. It's not really about what gets them the most money but it's also described and and if you know you might want to remember this the second house describes what you do better than everyone else and and it's also where your contribution counts for the most among the people that you're working with so let me show you a few examples and then we'll get right back to this okay so example number one is marilyn monroe and most famously known for a wonderful figure and, uh, and, and being, you know, a really sex pot kind of person. But actually, what Marilyn Monroe's chart actually says is that she has a real talent for comedy. So despite all her, all her Hollywood movies, the ones that have done the best, the ones that are right now in your Hollywood Hall of Fame, are all her comedies. And she did it better than any other actress. So the weird thing is where she was most useful to the, to the studios and where she made the most money was when she was playing a dumb blonde in movies. She's actually really funny. You should check her out. Okay, so let's have another example, Walt Disney. Of course, we all know him as the person who gave us our, our Disney movies and our Disney princesses. But you see, as a person, as a human being, Walt Disney's chart actually says that his greatest strength, his second house ruler, is creating beauty when it comes to media and recreation. And he does it in a way that calls for the highest quality. So this is what a lot of people don't know. I mean, Walt Disney wasn't just a businessman. He himself was an animator. And he started out as a bit of an artist and then he developed his own technology for, for making pictures come to life. Uh, and it's, it's basically because of his, his expertise with animation that made him the valuable person that he is. Now, of course, it made him millions, potentially even billions of dollars. Uh, but his real value to the team was his ability to do just that. And the third example is Barack Obama. Of course, we know him as the ex-president of the United States, the first black man to take that position. But if you think about it, um, he probably didn't get paid just for being a black man and he wasn't even paid all that much for being the president. But where Barack Obama is most useful, most valuable and makes a hugest uh, contribution is that he has uh, his second house ruler tells us 
that his ability to create inspiration, to, to show people a vision of what a world is going to be like, and for him to do this in a space that involves religion, philosophy, even politics, uh, and, and getting people to think about what's right and what's wrong, uh, is Barack Obama's biggest strength. So it's uh, he, he, he might be very known as an orator, somebody who gives very good speeches, but I think it's a lot less of his ability to actually speak and use big words or anything like that, but rather his ability to inspire hope and, and, uh, and vision in, in others that makes Barack Obama truly valuable to any team that he's in. So given these examples, what I really wanted you to think about is this. Now, is it really that uh, making the most money actually gives us the biggest purpose in our lives? Because frankly, you could put Marilyn Monroe, Walt Disney and Barack Obama in, uh, in any kind of money-making scheme. I mean, if you found uh, a, a stock investment that was going to shoot up and make money, who really cares whether it was Marilyn Monroe who bought it or, or Barack Obama? It makes no difference at all. So if we're going to look into the astrology chart, then make sure you're looking for where you are better than everyone else what can you do that makes you better than everyone else and that you can make the biggest contribution and in fact the effect that it will have on you is that you will make money and you will be valued because because then it's like Marilyn Monroe being valued above other actresses when it comes to a comedy role it ups your confidence level, it ups your self-value, your self-esteem. Plus, there is an added benefit that you are fulfilling one of the purposes that you came into this world to, to, to deliver. And uh, I think in my very simple layman terms is how do you make money happily just by being yourself and presenting your strengths to the world. So I hope this is a, it's a video that you enjoyed uh, and it gives you a different perspective on value when it comes to the astrology chart. Now, if you really like learning about stuff like that and, you know, and if it really means a lot to you to get to know more about yourself, uh, understand yourself at a truly deep level, be sure to check out some of our programs. But otherwise, just subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified about more of these insightful astrology videos as we produce them. So this is me. I'll see you guys in my next video.